Hi Dry Sew Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a stitch from Lilo and Stitch. So let's get started. To draw a cute stitch, let's first start by drawing his big nose. So I'm going to come right here and draw a big curve. So this is going to be right in the center. It's a nice big curve and I'll round it off right here and connect in the center. So let's come down, go right here in the center and then go up. There. So his nose is actually a really dark blue, but then he has these nostrils right here. So I'm going to come in here and if you like it, go ahead and just draw this kind of shape right here and shade this in. If you want that detail. And same thing here. But if you don't want this detail, just shade it in, I mean, color it in all dark blue. <laughs> okay, so then from there, we're going to come to the side and draw a big circle for the eyes. So say about right here, give it some space. And about right here, I'll go ahead and draw a circle. So I'm making the eyes uh, initially a circle because it's just a little bit easier to draw. So same thing over here. Just give it some space and about right here. And connect. There. Okay, so then now that we have the circles in, I'm going to come in here and put in a big highlight right here. So a big circle right here. And then a smaller one at an angle right here, just for some more sparkle. And then I'll shade this all in. So same thing over here. So bigger highlight right here and then a smaller one. There. Okay, so we have the two humongous eyes in. Actually, I'm looking at my camera and make this a little bit rounder. There. Okay, so then from there, uh, let's see here. We're going to have to draw the mouth, right? So let's come underneath right here where the um, center is. I'm just going to bring down a very small little line. Then from there, I'm going to curve down. And about right underneath the eye, curve right back up. So we just want to draw this curve right here underneath for the mouth. And I'll just go ahead and cap it off right here. So same thing here. Go down. So not too deep. And as we come right underneath this eye, go back up right and cap it off. So kind of like the center of the eye there. So uh, Stitch is a cute smile and right underneath here I'm going to very lightly just draw a curve right underneath. Okay so then from there we can go ahead and draw his uh, head. So I'll come to the center of where my eye is, come out just a little bit, say about this much and same thing on the other side. The center of the eye come out about this much Then we're going to start to draw the face. So come around, around the mouth area. We're just going to draw this curve right there. And it's going to come right underneath. So nice and shallow, very soft curve, almost straight actually. So about right there, go ahead and connect right underneath. There. Okay, so then from there, I know it, start, it looks weird, huh? <laughs> we'll fix it. We need to go up. 
So now we're going to go up right here. And then I'll just drag this point across about right here. Since it's easier for my hand to go down. And then we'll bring it up a little bit higher. So it's a lot thinner at the top and wider at the bottom. So about right there, I'll stop and draw some zigzags for some fur. I think this one goes the other opposite way and then come right back down and connect. Now that we have the head shape in, let's go ahead and draw the patch around the eye. So I'll come nice and high, uh, let's say about right here. I'll draw a curve and we're going to aim towards this part right here next to the nose. Just going to draw this curve right underneath. I mean right here <laughs> and connect and out around the eye and back up. There. So we have that one in. So let's draw the other side about right here as well. So once again, we're going to curve up, come right next to the nose. If you don't want this harsh line right here, you can just uh, color it in light blue and then bring it in just like the other side and up. There. Okay, so we have the patches in here and then let's come above this and we're just going to draw another curve for some detail and same thing here right above right here and then we can add some curves right over the nose for some more detail just going to add two curves lightly and so as you can see i made these eyes a circle because it's just a little bit easier to draw a, a circle a straight circle but if you like you want to make it more stitch like come in this area right here and i'm going to sharpen it so this is all up to you if you want this part right here and then we're just going to connect right here so you just kind of want to create the sharper part right here and then shade it in. So same thing over here. And shade it in. So that way it's a slightly a little bit more stitch like right for the eyes. But definitely a circle is also fine. There. Okay, so finally starting to come together, right? Now for the ears. We're going to have to draw these big humongous ears. So let's come to the side right here. And I'll just give myself a point right here and say about right here. I'll go ahead and go up. So you want them nice and big. So up and about right here, round it off. Come down and about in this area, I'm going to come in for a little notch, come out, continuing, and I'll bring it all the way around back to my point. There. I'm not sure if it's too skinny or not, but okay, we'll just go with it. Uh, so then, right here in this area, I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve. For some details and here there now for the other side <laughs> we're gonna have to drag a point across right there and right underneath the eye right here okay so i have that part now to go up just like the other side and i'll drag this point across so I know I'm approximately the same height. I'll just give myself a point about right here is where it kind of curves in. So right there. And don't worry if it's not the same, it won't be. <laughs> you just want approximate size and shape. So about right here, just like the other side, give a little notch. And once again, 
now that you have this point it's much easier you know where to go and we just bring it right back in from there let's draw the details so we'll come out right here this area just like the other side connect and once again same thing over here Okay, finally done with his head. Now for his cute little body. So right here in this area right here, I'm going to draw a curve right here. And, and let's see here, about in this area right here as well. So nice and centered. I'm just gonna draw these two curves first. From there, I'm gonna bring this down at a slight slant, bring it down. And it's a little bit wider towards the bottom, so about right here. I'm going to go ahead and connect it. So that's the basic shape you want to draw, so a little bit wider and a slight slant. Let's do the same thing on this side. And connect. Then from there, let's... Uh, Come in between and we're going to just add a little curve right here, slight curve, and another slight curve right there. And then come to the sides right here and we're just going to draw kind of like this circle. And bring it right back in. So same thing on the other side, right there. And bring it in. Then from there, um, I'm going to come in here and just draw whatever space I have left, just a slight angle line, just to connect the feet to the body. And then for some details, let's come in this area. I'm going to draw a circle right inside. And for some toenails. So I'm just going to thicken it up. So maybe like four of them. there so cute right so same thing over here and once again one two three and four and then for the hands i want to do the same thing but just longer so one and two i'll make it three so same thing here there and then last but not least we're gonna have to add some right here just draw some curves right here for some uh, fur on his tummy his chest area and that is pretty much it for uh, this new stitch that I'm drawing for you. And I really hope you loved this one. And thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.